welcome to today's vlog. I'm sure you can tell by the title. I am pregnant. I am about 15 and a half weeks. Feeling a lot better than I did before, but still not 100%. Today I am very tired and still a little bit nauseous, but I just went to Publix, so we're gonna start the video out a little bit different and you can kind of get a peek into what I've been eating lately. It's definitely gone through phases. But here are some of my staples this pregnancy. Kind of similar to with Isaiah, but also some new things. So bagels. Used to do it a ton with cottage cheese. Now I'm out of my cottage cheese phase and I've moved on. Broccoli, not for me. That's for Michael. Veggies, definitely for Michael. I can only eat raw, crisp vegetables. I don't really like them cooked. Finally able to eat meat. That has been a huge um, aversion for me. So I got some turkey, two kinds of turkey. This um, chicken has been a staple for Michael because I have just not been cooking because everything would make me want to be nauseous. These Springer Mountain little grilled chicken breasts are really helpful. So he puts those on like salads or in stir fries or whatever. Okay, recently, obsession has been tzatziki. So I've been making these sandwiches on either a bagel thin. Recently though, I really wanted pita, so I grabbed some pita and I'll do like tzatziki, tomatoes, butter lettuce, turkey, and, and pickled onions. And that's what I've been loving for lunch. So I do that basically like every lunch for the past couple weeks, but they also had a sale. So I grabbed the French onion dip as well because that just sounded good. So I can switch it up. Our staple for dinner has been pizza. This Freshetta pizza is so much better than any other frozen one I've tried. Um, I grew up on DiGiorno, but I'm a huge Freshetta person. And now that I can eat meat, we've actually been loving the Supreme. So Michael and I will like split this pizza and then have like a side salad. Um, and that's been great. I don't usually like love pizza, but whenever I'm pregnant, I crave it. I've been loving cream cheese. So sometimes I'll put that in the like pita wrap or dipping pretzels, either pretzel crisps or just like any kind of pretzel. Dipping it in here, like the crunchy kind, is so good. Tomatoes for my little concoction, pickled onions, so get a couple of these. The ranch we always get is this yogurt ranch. One thing that I have loved about this pregnancy is that it has made me kind of cut out bad habits that I used to have. They weren't maybe necessarily bad, but like, I would rely a lot on artificial sweeteners like stevia, which isn't bad, but ever since this pregnancy, it's been like a huge aversion, just the thought of like any sort of artificial sweetener. So I've been loving putting jelly, just this is sweetened with um, cane sugar. So I'll put this in my oatmeal instead of, I used to do stevia, so love this. And then also I'll add some banana to my oatmeal, so I'll do like, peanut butter and jelly oatmeal with chia seeds and then banana and that's been my go-to. So this is my little pregnancy grocery haul of things that we either needed or just sounded good. Today's kind of fun because I'm actually shooting for a brand which this will be my first brand deal in a while. I didn't think I was gonna take any more but I've worked with this company before and I've worked with the same girl before and I really, really like get along with her well and like her. So I said, yes, it kind of sparked that creativity in me again, because honestly, I've just been in kind of a rut. I feel like this pregnancy has been more mentally taxing on me as I just felt like uninspired. And now that I had this brand reach out and I was like, you know what, I'm going to do it. And maybe it'll like kind of get me back in the swing of things. finished product. These are these little baked oatmeal cups. Peanut butter banana. I'm gonna drizzle peanut butter, but for now I'm gonna let them cool and make some lunch because I'm starving.
avocado, tzatziki, pickled onions, campari tomatoes, lettuce, and this boar's head turkey that of course I had to microwave because hashtag listeria. Is this a onion, sweet onion pita or something? But like, look at this. For dessert, we are having one of these um, peanut butter muffin things that I just made for the brand. Yogurt and more peanut butter with sea salt. I'm wrapping up this shoot and these are bomb. I just decided to drizzle them with a little bit of peanut butter because that's how I would serve it. That's how Isaiah would eat it. They don't have any added sugar, so I want to add extra flavor, but hey. I'm excited about these. Got my Gatorade. This is a good segue, I guess, into my first trimester recap. This is like all I can drink. I'm getting better at drinking water now, but water made me so nauseous at first that all I could drink was lemonade. But now I've moved on to Gatorade. Ah, anyways, found out that I was pregnant right at four weeks. Michael and I had been trying, so I had a Chemical pregnancy, which is just an early miscarriage. I really don't like that term, but um, that's what they call it because technically the baby passed before it ever had a heartbeat. It's supposed to start beating February 14th. After we lost that baby, it was about four months later that I got pregnant. That's really affected this pregnancy for me. Kind of mentioned earlier that it's been a very mental battle pregnancy wise this time around. After you have a loss, it's so scary. Like when I was pregnant with Isaiah, I was, I was worried about that, but I hadn't experienced it. So I guess maybe it felt a little further off, but after you have that, you're kind of like, oh, like is something wrong with my body? Like, is it going to reject the next time I get pregnant? This time around, extremely nauseous, extremely tired. The exhaustion has what stood out to me the most with this baby. Um, I remember being tired with Isaiah, but I don't remember this level where it's like the first really into like, I would say week 12, once five o'clock hit, I was just trying to get something in my system so I could go to bed. And it kind of worked out because <laughs> Michael hurt his ankle the day I found out I was pregnant. And at first I was really stressed about that, but it was a huge blessing because honestly, he was kind of up and moving with a brace pretty early on. And then he got to work from home for basically the first eight weeks of my pregnancy, um, which is not normal. He usually goes into the office. I feel like things start getting bad around week six and then they were bad, really bad through weeks 12 and then they gradually have been getting a little bit better or like more good days than bad days. And I'm just really hoping by week 18 that I am like, mostly just like back energy wise. I've been trying to go for walks and they're just so tiring. I walk two miles and then I'm like, okay, I did it. Cause I do want to remain active, but I'm definitely not pushing it, especially being pregnant in this heat in the summer, your first trimester. Oh my goodness. That is something to talk about. The heat makes me nauseous whether I'm pregnant or not, but when you're pregnant and nauseous and in the heat and just exhausted and dehydrated, all of that together just makes everything so much worse. It made me feel bad because Isaiah loves to swim and I would want to take him to the pool, but it was like I was too nauseous and tired and hot to even be at the pool. Like, truthfully, going from one to two has just been mentally hard because I have only known our little unit. Like, I think when people have two under two, the age gap, since it's so close, it's almost like you're so in it that you're just going right back in it. Like by the time you get pregnant, you know, your baby's still basically a baby. Like we've had this little family unit for over three years by the time I got pregnant. And I'm just so concerned, like, how am I gonna divide this time? What is Isaiah gonna think? We still haven't even told him because I'm really paranoid about if I lose the baby, I don't wanna confuse him and that, I don't know, but I did show him pictures of him in my tummy, which I guess he'd never seen before, and he was blown away. He'll just randomly be like, I was in your belly, and he wants to see pictures. And so I think when we do tell him, 
he might not fully get it, but I think he'll be very fascinated to know that there is another baby in mommy's tummy. So I'm starting to get more excited, but I just wanted to be very honest that this first trimester has been just filled with a lot of fear and anxiety as opposed to just happiness and joy and excitement. And whenever I talk to Michael about it, he's just very reassuring and he tells me, one, you have like so many hormones running through your body. So he's like, that's, you know, a lot. Also, you just don't feel good. You're super tired. You're trying to take care of a toddler full time. It's not exactly a fun time. Taking a positive turn here. I've tried to write down the habits that have changed in me throughout this pregnancy that I'm thankful for. And that's really changed my perspective. So like for one, I mentioned before, I've been a huge aversion to artificial sweeteners. And so I've been using honey and maple syrup and fruit and jam and stuff. And also I think I was kind of getting burnt out on the gym, but it was such a routine that I would find myself going and then I'd be there some days and I'm kind of like, I don't really care to be doing this, but almost like, what am I going to do if I'm not here now? I've picked up a lot of old hobbies that I used to have, starting new hobbies. It's kind of nice when you're almost like forced to do something, especially if it's something deep down you wanted to change. And just in general, it forces you to slow down when you're pregnant, which is, which is good. I've read, I think 14 books in the past nine weeks. Of course, I'm taking care of Isaiah throughout the day, but I make him go down for quiet time. And I'm like, I don't care what you do. You don't have to sleep. You don't like, you have to stay in your room for like an hour and I would just lay down and usually read. He's been going to bed at seven and so I would go to bed immediately at seven and then just basically read for an hour and then pass out. Our guest room slash office will now become the baby's nursery so we're gonna have to move some things around. We got a pull out queen couch so that that's an option for people to stay here but in doing that I kind of like revamped this whole room and I love it. Oh yeah, due date. This baby is due the very beginning of February. Originally it was end of January, so it'll be somewhere in there. I was due February 4th and I came January 29th. So there is a chance this baby will be born on my birthday. We're going to be a family of four. So now I wanna show you some of the stuff that I was talking about around the house. Not really sure how much of this room you saw before. I didn't even pick it up before videoing this, but it was like our playroom. We kind of had two playrooms down here and then one upstairs. And this is now getting transformed into just a more aesthetically pleasing sitting room slash this is the pull out couch I found at the West Elm outlet for $1,200. It's usually over $3,000. I was very excited with that. Then this is actually an activity table from Pottery Barn for kids. And then we're gonna do toys in these bins. I'm still undecided if I like these bins um, down here. So that way we can kind of do more quiet toys in this room. I'm gonna do a little gallery wall. So I printed these and then found some frames at Hobby Lobby. Puzzles and books and blocks and stuff like that can come down here. And then the upstairs room can be a little bit more crazy, but that is this room for now. And I just like how it's coming together. We have this as the official playroom. <laughs> it's so janky right now. Like I said, I was not really planning on filming. This is all done on my iPhone, but if I didn't do it, then I just knew I wouldn't. Anywho, this was like an arcade thing he loved, but cousins came over and it kind of got destroyed. This is all messy, but toys. And then I made this cute little reading nook. I don't know if you can see it, but I did these little wall stickies. And then I put some books up here these cute little bean bags and then this little hanging lamp um, and I love it. It takes a long time to put a house together so things keep moving and slowly coming together. I think I'm gonna do a little desk over here so it'll be like reading, writing kind of theme. But yeah, that is the bonus room. I think I'm gonna end the video here. Michael's mom is about to drop Isaiah back off. So thankful that she was able to pick him up today. Give me a little extra time to shoot this. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. I know I've been MIA for a long time, but I'm feeling a little bit more inspired. So hopefully I can keep creating videos that are helpful. Let me know what you wanna see below. And until next time, I will see you next time. <laughs>